My eyes are a little red, but I'm not high. I'm just tired. I've been uh, I've been uh, tired since I came to camp, and I am tired now that I'm at camp. And I've been here for a few days, so um, I want to talk about something though. Uh, something that's been uh, a problem for a lot of or is a problem for a lot of people. Uh, I've, I've, I've read some Reddit posts, I've been reading them for a bit, and uh, a lot of people just been suffering with these uh, giants, you know, that I like to call them. Um, they're things that, you know, everybody really, everybody experiences to some degree, different degrees, but when it comes to mental illnesses like schizophrenia, these are um, magnified to a whole nother level, right? And uh, they're uh, fear, shame, and guilt, right? They're monsters, right? They are uh, jailers, they are abusers, they are giants, and uh, they they really beat us up, keep us caged, and uh, and so many people have uh, such a problem getting beyond them right uh, and so they are ruled uh, by these things and they are not uh, good rulers right they 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 they, they lead you about uh, chain you by the neck and uh, they whip you they they you know force you into all kinds of uh, uh, suffering and uh you know you just go along because you're just you're, you're you're the slave right so um they're really difficult and that's why a lot of people are stuck at these but we have to we have to learn to uh to rise up against them right we have to we can't keep them in front of us, right? Usually, we're thinking about uh, the past or you know things that are gonna happen, or um, but it's just an, a, a dark energy, a different energy, a negative energy, right? So, with uh, you know, we know what we generally get get the fear, fear of uh, failing, fear of being found out, fear of whatever delusions, all these things that keeps our mind turning turning then bring brings anxiety and then uh we have the shame of maybe something we've done something we've said and and that just keeps playing and uh, again brings anxiety we get stuck in the past and we keep that vision from the past before us so then we end up going right back to the past um to that same energy right and then there's guilt you know, we do something, maybe hurt somebody, uh, done something we shouldn't have done, and then we're just feeling like feeling like we're the worst people, and uh, we don't deserve any good, we don't deserve this, that, and we just kind of beat ourselves up for it. But it's not us; it's the that's what those things are. They are, uh, uh, you know, uh, slave drivers, slave masters, right? And they beat you up and make you feel small which is not what you need to feel when you're fighting against these things. You need to grow bigger because they actually make you small and they become giants. So it just keeps you stuck. Um, how can you be small and stand before that giant of a fear, that giant uh, feeling of shame and guilt, right? You can't overcome them if you're small. You have to grow, right? So we have to learn to let go of them and uh if we don't then we you know we can't see the future we want for ourselves we're only going to see the future that they can create for us right which is nothingness destruction right suffering worthlessness all these things is what they're going to uh they're going to create uh, the vision they're going to show and so we're going to just see that and then which thus keeps us wandering right back and and stuck in them right so 
um, is why it's necessary to be able to see beyond them and, and see a future uh, possibility, right? Something we could strive towards that can uh, help pull us out of them. But sometimes the most difficult thing to do or you can do is let go, right? When you think of in the in the physical, you're holding something heavy. It, it goes, gravity takes hold, right? It's easy to let go. But in, 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 the, in the mental, in that realm, it's different, right? It's if you hold the weight, you're going to hold the weight, right? It, you know, a lot of times the weight holds you, right? But it's a different thing to let go, right? And so it takes work. It takes an understanding. And it takes a focus and a willingness. Sometimes you don't have to see the complete picture of who you want to be, but just a, um, a thought, an idea of what you want, and that could be enough to get you going in the right direction. And as you go, it becomes clearer and clearer over time um, because you start to shed some of this dead weight and you take on some of these some of these other qualities like courage, you know, and, and, and these things that can help help you um, help you on the way. They are strong, they're lighter and easier to carry and, 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 and um, they, they aid you on your journey. So, um, but that's, uh, like I said, that's a difficult task and that is in itself a challenge and a lot of people don't recognize this struggle, right? These are uh, things that we just allow to rule us without even um, taking up uh, uh, arms against them you know we don't really go out and really try to defeat them it's just we just come to a place that we just think it's our brain and we just accept it and you know they just have their way with us but um we don't have to uh, have it like that you can actually um you can actually turn things around so hopefully uh hopefully you understand what i'm saying and uh yeah let me know um i'll be happy to clarify anything um, but hopefully it helps later.